Is it kind of like someone who knows all the grammar rules、uh-huh. but can't actually hold a conversation? Yeah, that's a great analogy. You can totally master a system like a test. This is the TOEFL Speaking Prep Podcast for the AI era. All right, so have you ever wondered like, if those TOEFL prep courses actually help you learn English? Oh, or, or if they're just a shortcut to a better score, you know? Yeah, that's a really good question. And it's something that a lot of people think about. Yeah, especially with how much they cost. Ex- like, is it worth the investment? Well, we're going to try to figure that out today. Right. We're diving into some research, a 2023 study from the ELS Journal on Interdisciplinary Studies in Humanities. Okay, cool. So they looked at TOEFL prep, <laughs> TOEFL prep programs and whether they really work. Yeah. And for anyone listening who's not super familiar with the TOEFL, right. There are actually two main types、uh-huh. the IBT, which is internet based, and the ITP, which is paper based. Right. This study focused on the ITP, which is commonly used in Indonesia for things like university admissions and scholarships. Makes sense.、Uh-huh. So, how do they actually study this? Well, they took 45 students at Universitas Fajar Makassar、okay. and split them up into three groups. Interesting. So, one group didn't get any English training. Okay, control group. <laughs> Yeah. Gotcha. Another group got general English lessons. Oh, okay. And the third group got a specialized TOEFL prep course. So they're really trying to isolate the effects of just the TOEFL prep. Exactly.、Uh. Each group met for 90 minutes 20 times over the course of a month. Okay. And the researchers tracked their TOEFL ITP scores before and after. Makes sense. Along with their scores on the FCE Cambridge speaking test, which is just like a general English proficiency test. Proficiency, yeah. Okay. So let's get to the good stuff. Did the prep courses actually work? Okay. So the results were kind of interesting. All three groups started with similar TOEFL scores,、uh-huh. averaging somewhere between 350 and 375. Okay. The control group, their scores didn't really change that much. As you might expect. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. The general English group, they improved a bit. Okay. But the TOEFL prep group saw a big jump, averaging around 437. Wow. So it sounds like the cram sessions really worked, at least for the TOEFL score. Right. But what about speaking skills? You mentioned that. Yeah, that's where things get a little bit tricky. Oh, okay. Despite those higher TOEFL scores, the study actually found no significant correlation between the TOEFL prep course and improved speaking skills on the FCE Cambridge test. Wait, so they're getting better at taking the TOEFL,、yeah. but not necessarily better at speaking English. It seems that way, yeah. That's kind of weird, isn't it? It is, and it really highlights something important about research. Just because two things happen together doesn't mean that one caused the other. Okay, so is it kind of like someone who knows all the grammar rules,、uh-huh. but can't actually hold a conversation? Yeah, that's a great analogy. You can totally master a system like a test. Without really developing the underlying skill. Oh, wow. So, for someone thinking about taking a TOEFL prep course, what does this study really mean for them? Well, before you make any decisions, it's important to remember that this is just one study. Right. And it has some limitations. Of course. The sample size was pretty small, and it only looked at the ITP version of the TOEFL, not the IBT. And there could have been other factors that they didn't account for. Absolutely. Like maybe the students in the TOEFL prep group were already stronger in English. Yeah. Or more motivated to study. Right. So we can't really jump to any conclusions. Exactly. Right. But it does raise some interesting questions. Yeah. Like, are we really trying to learn English just to get a good score?、Right. Or is there something more to it? Yeah. What's the bigger goal here? What about you? What's your reason for learning English? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. I think for me, it's always been about being able to connect with people. From different cultures, you know, <laughs> like language is a bridge to understanding other perspectives. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like for me, it's about being able to experience other cultures, read books, watch films. It's like unlocking a whole new world. It really is. Yeah. And the study kind of reminds us that there's no magic bullet for language learning, right? Yeah. It's definitely a good reminder to be a little critical of all those apps and courses that promise you'll be fluent in a few weeks. Exactly. Those things can be helpful, but there's no one size fits all approach. Right. We all have to figure out what works for us. Absolutely. And this research is especially important for anyone thinking about taking the TOEFL for, you know, academic reasons. Oh, yeah, totally. Because if you're going to study in an English speaking environment, exactly, you need to actually be able to function in English. Right. Like understanding lectures, participating、mm-hmm. in discussions, writing papers, those things require real proficiency, not just test taking tricks. 
So after looking at this study, should we just ditch TOEFL prep courses altogether? I wouldn't say that they can still be useful, mm -hmm. but it's important to understand what they can and can't do. Okay, so they might help you familiarize yourself with the test format. Right, which can definitely help with anxiety. And maybe boost your score a bit. Potentially. But they shouldn't be seen as the only way to learn English. So it's about finding that mix of approaches that work for you. Exactly. What works for your learning style, your goals, and what you actually find interesting. You know what I find really exciting about this research? It kind of shifts the focus away from just the test and moves it towards something more like personal growth and self-discovery. That's a really good point. It reminds us that language learning can be so much more than just a means to an end. It can be about broadening your horizons and connecting with the world in a deeper way. Even the fact that they used the FCE Cambridge test to measure overall proficiency is interesting. Right. They're acknowledging that language is about more than just answering multiple choice questions. It's about communication, expression, understanding. And those things require a different approach to learning, one that focuses on developing a deep understanding of the language, not just memorizing rules and tricks. It makes me think about how awesome it is to, like, discover a new word or have a conversation with someone from another culture or just immerse yourself in a book or a film in another language. Those are the experiences that really make language learning meaningful and rewarding. You can't get that from just prepping for a test. So for anyone out there who's feeling overwhelmed by the TOEFL and all the prep options, right. just take a deep breath and remember why you're doing this. Connect with your why. Exactly. Why are you learning English? What are you hoping to achieve? Once you have a clear purpose, you can explore all the amazing possibilities of language learning and know that the journey is just as important as the destination. And the journey's way more fun when you're actually curious and you love learning. I couldn't agree more. This study has definitely made me think about what kind of research would give us more definitive answers about, you know, the effectiveness of these courses. What would a better study look like? That's a great question. And it really gets at how we critically evaluate research. It's important to think about these things. So a more comprehensive study would definitely need a larger and more diverse group of participants. And it would need to compare both the IBT and ITP versions of the TOEFL. What if they followed these students for like a longer period of time instead of just cramming everything into a month? What if we saw how their language skills developed over a year or two? Yeah, That would be really interesting. A longitudinal study like that could tell us so much more about how people actually learn languages and what factors contribute to fluency. I think it would be cool to look at the teaching methods used in these prep courses, too, yeah. and see if certain approaches are better at actually building language skills. That's such a good idea. Yeah. Imagine a study that compared like a traditional classroom prep course with a more immersive experience. Like a study abroad program or something? Exactly where you're living with a host family and using English in real life situations. That would be incredible. Can you imagine practicing your bargaining skills at a local market while prepping for the TOEFL? TOEFL prep meets travel. The ultimate language learning adventure. Okay, maybe we're getting a little carried away. Yeah, maybe a little. <sighs> but seriously, we need more research that looks at language learning as a whole experience, mm -hmm. not just as a means to an end. I mean, yeah, we need to move beyond this idea that the test is the only thing that matters. Right, like it's just one piece of the puzzle. Exactly. It's more about you as a learner. Like, what are your goals? What are you trying to get out of this? Yeah. And what works best for you? So if you're out there and like thinking about taking the TOEFL and you're like, do I need a prep course? Yeah. Here's what we think. Okay. Do your research. Ask questions. Talk to people. Try things out. But most importantly, trust your gut. Yeah. Like what feels right for you? What do you think is going to work best for your learning style? Exactly. And remember, learning a language, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh, it's a journey. It really is. So embrace the challenges, celebrate the small wins, and never stop exploring, you know, yeah. the beauty and the richness of English. I love that. Yeah. It's a great way to put it. Well, we've reached the end of our deep dive yeah. into the world of TOEFL prep. And language learning. Hopefully this gave you some things to think about. Yeah, and maybe even some inspiration. For your own journey with English. We always love to hear from you. So yeah. if you have any thoughts or experiences you want to share. Let us know. Connect with us on social media. Leave a comment. Yeah, keep the conversation going. Definitely. Until next time, happy learning. Keep diving deep. See you later.